Hey everybody, welcome back. This wonderful thing you see in front of you is the new, upgraded, super awesome ANET A8, affectionately now known as the AM8. I purchased all the black extrusion from Rat Rig. I'll leave a link in the description below, as well as to all the printed parts that at least that I can remember the links to. I bookmarked as much as I could. Um, so this is based off of, mostly, uh, Feeney's work, who did, I believe, did the original AM8 conversion. Um, I might have to look that up, so please don't quote me. So really, we're just going to go over some of the upgrades that I've done to this, where it sits now, and my future plans. Now, this is all going to be a handheld video, so I'm sorry if this looks like doo-doo. So to start off with, we have the display here, which has been moved crappy buttons and all, from the top center. Now you don't have to reach over the entire printer. It sits at a 45 and it's much easier to use. I have a 16 tooth uh, idler bearing here instead of a smooth that the ANA A8 came with. This prevents any bumps and ringing happening when a ribbed belt tries to go around a smooth idler. So this will definitely help quite a bit. I am now also using fiberglass reinforced belts instead of steel, which means they can go around an idler or the stepper motor much smoother than a steel belted, uh, steel reinforced belt would do. And it's also black, not white, because this is a black and green theme. I went through Tim's firmware and I found the bed mounts for the CR-10, so I decided to print these in uh, PLA. Uh, unfortunately, of course, they're huge and they look kind of ridiculous, but uh, you know what? They work. It's fine. Uh, I might redesign them a little bit, but I really don't think it's worth it at this point. But either way, that keeps it <coughs> keeps this solid. Excuse me. Keeps this solid for the Easy ABL probe. My other probe recently died and it ground into the bed. You can see where it kind of dug in here. I had enough with it, so he gave me another one. This is version two. Still, I'll take it. Uh, these are the only two parts that were not reprinted, uh, and unfortunately, they are probably going to disappear when I redo this entire system. Because mind you, this is gonna be converted to a Bowden system with a V6 hot end that Tim sells, which I bought recently. Motor's gonna mount there, tough tube right there. Don't mind that printer and we'll end up down here with a mount like this. So I designed this guy uh, and combined him with various other different parts that I'd found. So basically this comes off and this is where the hot end mounts, specifically this direction so that you can see as much of the nozzle on the bed as possible so that it's not being hidden underneath. You can actually get full view of what's printing. That was important to me. A 5015 fan, currently designed to fit specifically for Tim's fans from TH3D. So a little bit of a shameless plug there, go ahead and buy his fans if you want to use this. And a probe, either 18 millimeter or 12 millimeter on this side. Don't use BL Touch. I'm just saying, it's really not worth it. Ain't nobody got time for that. His easy ABL kits, these inductive sensors are much, much better. And for a back plate, this is where your pillow blocks will mount here. And this uses another design from a couple users, and I reinforced the bottom, uh, where this feeds the belt in and loops around and touches itself, so tooth to tooth, and holds in that way. That's cool. Also printed in black PLA. These pieces were printed at, I believe, 70% infill. Probably far more than enough, but I wanted the rigidity out of it. Here is the rest of the V6 hot end from Tim. I do have MOSFETs for the hotted bed and the hot end. Um, I will get to that at a future iteration. Uh, no Z anti wobble, by the way. You really don't need it. Just let them let them be free. This rod will guide it up as long as you're using the original uh, bearings here. LML 8UU, I believe, is the model. I do have. Z anti-backlash nuts, which gives me quite a bit of stability. It's actually amazing. 
I'm still using the Igus dryland bearings in all of the pillow blocks here, as well as the blocks underneath here. Come around to the back. We have 60 millimeter fan on a blue piece of uh, thing I designed just to hold the fan was the only thing blows air on the main board just to keep the board cool Don't you love my organized wiring? What the hell? It looks like my girlfriend's hair in the morning this stuff is amazing anyway uh, So the only cord organization is back here which simply pulls the wires from the right Z motor and the power supply down across the back I thought it would be a good idea it looks okay, but this is all going to get redone. All the electronics are going to end up underneath. Yes, I still have a pink silicon sock on my <laughs> on my extruder uh, or on my uh, my hot end here. Yeah, it's pink. You know what? I don't really care. I'll rock pink. I'll make this entire printer pink. I don't really care. It's awesome. Here we have the original PSU. This is going to be replaced by a mean well. If you're curious on the part number, it is an LRS35012. So 350 watt, 12 volt, and yeah. So the original has a fan that I zip tied directly into the mesh. This helps cool the PSU. You can thank Tim for giving me this little fan here. And this guy is a spool holder that Aaron, I want to say Berman, I'm probably messing up that name, I'm sorry. Um, he works, actually he sits in a chair right behind Tim at TH3D. He whipped this up in Fusion 360 for me, uh, and I printed it while I was there in this awesome Atomic PLA. And the benefit of this is that it's horizontal. I didn't want something that was sit this way. I wanted everything to be on the back and have a completely clean front. So this will feed over into the Bowden. The Bowden's actually going to end up over here and then feed straight down into the hot end. So, at the moment, that's about it. I have more coming. Uh, I guess I could probably show you um, that guy. Yeah, anyway, um, he'll be in another video. Let's just say I no longer have my ANET E12. Not because it's an ANET. I know they catch fire, but I wanted to get into the Creality series, so if you knew what that was when you saw it, good for you. If not, you'll have to wait for another video or watch my video again. Anyway guys, thank you for stopping by. Sorry about the long video and the shaky hand cam uh, stuff, but I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. If you want to see some more of this, I'm going to be doing some more upgrades over the next couple weeks. Um, I am prototyping an entire underbody electronics system that should be out... Uh, a month or so, I'll probably make that STL public. You will need a much larger printer to make it though. But other than that, hope you guys enjoy the video. I will see you guys again next time. Have a good one, guys.